Adobe Firefly, Adobe's generative AI project that they've been working on, has just been taken out of beta. It's now available to all users. So in this video, I'll show you how to access it on the web app and then how to get it inside of all of your Adobe apps. The first thing that we'll look at is on the web. Head to firefly.adobe.com. Once you're here, on the top right, sign in with your Adobe account. Once you're logged in, you'll get a user guideline pop-up now, so go ahead and hit agree here. And now we're at the Firefly web app page. Unlike before, now that Firefly is out of beta, you can use images that you've created for both personal and commercial work. So if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud plan, you'll no longer see that watermark that was down in the bottom left-hand corner of the images from before. I've done a bunch of videos on the different things that you can do inside of Firefly. So if you wanna take a deeper dive into each one of these tools, you can check out the videos and I'll put links in the description to learn a lot more. You can also check out skillleap.ai that offers a ton of complete courses on tools like Firefly and Midjourney, Runway, and a whole lot more. But in this video, I'll go over briefly what each piece of this does. At the top, we have our image generation. Here, you can just type in a description of what you wanna create, and when you're ready, hit generate. This tool is called text to image and as you can see, we just give Firefly a description of an image that we want, and it generates four different versions of that description. You can then take the settings on the right here and go even further, refining each of the images that you want to use. Again, I have other videos that go deeper into this. After that, we have generative fill. With generative fill, you upload or choose an image, and then you can add or remove anything you want from that image. We'll take, for example, this lighthouse here. I can select part of the sky, and then down in the description box, I'll put in add seagulls. On top of adding things, you can also remove, so I could select the lighthouse here and then say remove. Next, we'll look at text effects. Inside of text effects, you can enter your text that you want and then describe what you want your text to look like. So if we wanted to put a word like fire in, we could actually give the text flames. And just like the other tools, we have a ton of options here on the right that we can use to refine our results even further. And the last tool that Firefly has out right now is called Generative Recolor. Generative Recolor works inside of Illustrator and allows you to quickly and easily recolor vector images. So if you had some vector art that you've created, you could just upload it here and then click the different sample prompts on the right to quickly see different color options. You could also use this to say maybe only stick to pastel colors by saying maybe use bright pastel colors. And if you want to use your own images, just save the vector file as an SVG file and then drag it here in the upload section. Those are all of the tools that Adobe has out currently inside of the Firefly project. But as you can see here, they're actually working on a ton more. There's some really cool ones that I'm excited for, especially things like sketch to image and 3D to image. I think the 3D to image tool is actually gonna be pretty cool when it comes to skinning 3D objects. So this is all of the options on the firefly.adobe.com site. But starting today, you can actually now update your Adobe apps and all of these tools are gonna to be included inside of Photoshop and Illustrator. Before we had to use the beta apps, but now you're not gonna to have to do that. To update all of your Adobe apps, open the Creative Cloud app and then make sure to choose apps here at the top. On the left side menu, click updates and then on the right, click check for updates. You'll then see that both the Photoshop and the Illustrator apps have the Adobe Firefly generative AI options now available. So when you're ready, hit update all or just select the ones you wanna update. If you get a pop-up like this, you can just leave both these options selected and then hit continue. These are just telling you that it's gonna remove any of the old apps and then import your preferences. Let Adobe update the apps and when it's finished, we'll check them out. We'll start with Photoshop. When you first open Photoshop after the update, you'll get a quick tutorial on the new tools and how to use them. You can check them out if you want, or we'll just jump right into it. Before you use the generative AI inside of Adobe, you have to agree to the user guidelines. First off here, you'll see the tool that we used before, which is the text to image or the generative fill. So if we have an image like this here and we wanna remove the house, we just select the house, and then inside of the prompt box, hit generative fill, and then enter the prompt that you wanna use. We'll just say remove house. And just like before, you have variations, so you can click the arrows here to check out different versions. You can also use this to add things by selecting part of the image and then entering the prompt that you wanna add. 
Another really cool thing that you can do now inside of Photoshop is expanding the image with generative AI fill. To do this, select the crop tool and at the top here with the fill dropdown menu, choose generative expand. Now click and drag to expand the image either way or you can hold option to expand it both ways and then let go. You can enter a specific prompt here at the bottom if you want, or you can just leave it blank and then hit generate. Let Adobe do its magic, and when it's finished, it's gonna expand your image to the size that you selected and then automatically fill it in with generative fill. This feature is pretty incredible, and as you can see, you're gonna be able to do a lot with it. You can go ahead and play with this and see all of the things that you can come up with. You can keep removing or adding objects to your image, you can change the canvas size and automatically fill it in, and so much more. This tool is now completely changing the way that we use Photoshop. One more quick thing I found is if you don't want this prompt box always up, or if it's not up and you do want it, you can actually find this by choosing window at the top, and then down here at the bottom, it's called the contextual taskbar. So if you don't want it on, you can just turn that off there, or if you're not seeing it and you do want it on, you can just choose window and then turn it on. I know that's something that a couple people have had an issue with. All right, so next, let's look at Illustrator and the generative recolor. It's getting to be Halloween time, so obviously I'm gonna use a Halloween image. To access the recolor option, select your image either in a group or selecting all, and then here on the taskbar that appears, hit recolor. The new generative recolor option will then pop up. And just like we saw on the Firefly website, we have a bunch of sample prompts that are already included, or we can enter our own prompts to go with the mood or the theme that we want. Just like Photoshop, when you select your first one, you're gonna to have to agree to the guidelines, and then it'll start making your variations. This is super powerful and allows you to quickly see different color variations of your images. If you wanna to stick to certain colors though, you can hit advanced options here at the bottom, and then you can go through and change each color individually by setting the current color to a new one. So say if we don't wanna use this specific color here, we can actually choose it and then just choose another color that we do wanna use. So those are the new generative AI tools that Adobe has just released out of the Firefly beta. It's available to everybody that has an Adobe account and you can start using it today. And like I said before, on the channel here, I have videos that go into each one of these tools deeper and if you want to go even farther into generative AI and other tools like Midjourney and Runway, you can head over to skillleap.ai and check that out. But this was a quick and general overview video of everything that Adobe just released with Firefly, both on the firefly.adobe.com website and with the new updates built inside of Photoshop and Illustrator. This is just the beginning of what Adobe's working on with generative AI, and I can't wait to see what they release next and what you come up with. Let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about with Firefly.